Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Allah halal family Welcome to the channel I hope you guys are having yourself a wonderful uh, day In today's video guys we'll be reacting to Top 20 Asian Economies of 2021 This video was suggested by Mateo Termakase Thank you very much Shukran and mercy for taking the time to send me your recommendation and suggestion The video is by Dr. Top 10 And the link is in the description in case you guys wanted to check it out So we'll get started with the video in just a couple of uh, seconds and at the end of the video i'll share with you guys my reaction observations comments if you guys want to see that then please stay until the end of the video and with that said now let's get started Asia has been the historical center of the world economy and global trade. In medieval periods, that is between 5th and 15th century, Asia was the largest economy compared to all of the other continents combined. According to International Monetary Fund, Asia is now the largest continental economy of the world, both in terms of nominal GDP and GDP purchasing power parity. But with the largest portion of the population in the world with 4.5 billion, Asia's wealth distribution is not as good as compared to other developed countries. According to experts, Asia will be the economical center of the world for the 21st century. For this development, two major countries will lead from the front, that is India and China. China. Both will dominate and narrate as both have huge populations yeah. and one of the fastest growing economies. These can be seen in the rise of China as it is starting to challenge the dominance of the West. In the near future, many countries will do the same and will rise and dominate the world at least for this century. So in this video, we are going to see the top 20 Asian economies by nominal GDP according to International Monetary Fund for the year wow. 2021. Japan, India, Korea. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so you never miss any new update. So, let's go. Let's go, Dr. Ten. Oh, Iraq. Allahu Akbar. Number 20. 196 billion won. I'm pretty sure the GDP would be higher if they weren't impacted by the war. I see their growth is like negative 12 point. But inshallah, you know, Allah SWT to bring peace into Iraq. Yemen, Palestine, Kashmir, Afghanistan. 19 is our friends from Bangladesh. 338 billion. Wow. It's nice to see that uh, two countries, one after another, both Muslim countries also. Singapore. Yeah, number 18, Singapore. Beautiful. Singapore is one of the countries I want to visit too because um, that one city we reacted to, I think the capital was just beautiful. Those buildings were so cool. And growth rate decreased. I guess most countries probably growth rate decreased because of COVID. Who is this? Hong Kong. I've never seen Hong Kong's flag before, that's the first time. Pretty cool. Negative 7.5. Vietnam. Not too bad, negative 1.6, pretty well. UAE. These guys are trying pretty hard, you know, to change their economy from oil-based to maybe tourism. 670 billion. Malaysia, number 14. We had an 
eighty billion. Wow. Negative six. Philippines. I'm <laughs> Three hundred ninety one point trillion. Oh, negative eight point three. I guess the Philippines has a large population too, because their per, per capita is much lower. Israel, Israel is in Asia. Well, I guess they had that off there too, so it makes sense. 408 billion. 386 billion. Negative 5.09. Thailand. Wow. 636. Just excited for top ten and top five and then top three. I'm pretty sure number one is either going. I'm, it's going to be China. Yeah, I was gonna say Indian or China, but I think it's going to be China. Negative seven point one. Iran. Oh wow. Top ten. I wasn't. Yeah, I could have never guessed because especially with all the sanctions that they're going through, but. Uh, at the same time, I think they're really, um, really talented and really have got used to how to use their resources because they've been under sanctions for so long. And look, their growth rate only um, was negative five, where some other countries was eight, seven, six. Turkey, inshallah, wow. Let's go, Turkey. 652 billion. Six trillion negative five. Yeah, they, all, all countries, I guess, got impacted, but maybe China, not China. Where is this? Taiwan, there's a lot happening in the, like uh, close to Taiwan. I think this, they say the Strait of Taiwan. Because Taiwan has now a relationship with states and China doesn't like that so a lot of issues but hopefully you know they can uh, work things out and doesn't uh, end up in war because usually the innocents get impacted Saudi Arabia wow number seven all that oil is helping them <laughs> You know, Saudi Arabia, they could have done a lot with the amount of money that they have. But I think it's a lot of it is just mismanaged. Indonesia, number six. Also, not bad. 1.17 trillion. 3.61 trillion. Oh. Nah, not bad. Negative 1.5. And a lot of other countries are like in eight. Russia, number five. So this is a top five, guys. Four point two three trillion. Yeah, they had a little high. Negative growth to 4.1. Number four, South Korea. They're really talented. A lot of, um, you know, hardware comes uh, from South Korea, like I think Samsung, right? Like TVs, um, cell phones. You know, they're really, really talented. There's a lot of good companies and good products that come from South Korea. Not bad, negative 1.9.
India, wow, I thought they would be number two, but they're number three. Now I'm guessing who's going to be number two or one. 2.83 trillion, okay, okay. Digit decrease 10.03. Japan, wow, small well, Japan's number two. And China, I'm guessing, is number one. 5.1 trillion. Yeah, there's a lot of good hardware that also comes from Japan, and I really, really like Japan. I love sushi. And uh, Japan is also on my list, inshallah, to visit one day. They have a lot of cool stuff there. Negative 5.3. One, the dragon, China. Let's see if they had a positive growth rate. That would be crazy. Twenty-six point seven three trillion. I told you guys, one point nine. Wow. Everybody else negative. The only country in Asia has a had a positive increase was china it's crazy guys it's so nice to see for example turkey saudi arabia malaysia iran indonesia singapore bangladesh all these countries you know it's good that they're they're growing because you know if the country's doing well inshallah there's going to be more development more education uh you know more access to health care for for the population and uh, you know the country becomes uh, prosperous so Inshallah that yeah, you know you guys uh, do reach your goals and uh, hopefully all that money gets uh, used uh, for uh, good uh, causes, development of the country like I said and goes to the people too rather than you know uh, politicians uh, stealing it and hopefully that's not uh, the case as just sometimes in certain countries it happens but uh, I'm not making any comments with the um, countries that was in, in this uh, video just generally so uh, really really interesting guys thank you very much for suggesting it i hope you guys like this video if you did please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and if you like me to react to another video you can put your suggestions in the comment section below as always there mark i say thank you very much shukri and merci guys for all your love and support i hope you guys have yourself a wonderful day take care of yourself and your family inshallah i'll see you guys in the next video take care